My name's Aaron Croman, here to teach you about Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to make an 8-bit forest. Now one way to do it is to uh, go to your preferences. Uh, this is in Photoshop uh, on the Mac or under Edit uh, on the PC. And we go, go to Guides, Grid, Slices, and uh, Count. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so we want to go to the grid and we want a uh, grid line every uh, well, we don't want inches uh, go for pixels and we'll go uh, every uh, let's do every 10 and let's have uh, five subdivisions and hit OK and then we're going to hit command apostrophe and it brings up a grid. And now make sure you have a view and that snap is on. And by doing this, you can uh, use the marquee and you can uh, and it will snap to all the little pixels. So I'm going to hit uh, command D or control D to deselect this. But I don't I don't like uh, working with the grids. It takes way too much time. So this is a uh, uh, 150 by 150 pixels so it's very low resolution so just do it the old-fashioned way Photoshop is a very powerful tool for artists now I'm gonna show you a technique to make your project even better command apostrophe to get rid of the uh, grid and I'm going to hold down uh, the brush tool and put down get a pencil tool I'm going to go to the brush presets. I'm going to hit this uh, little thing right here, which is going to bring up, I'm going to get bring in the square brushes. And you can hit OK or append, but I'm going to hit OK. So it's only square brushes. And this way, it's I can block things in a lot quicker. So it's just painting it in. So let's start making that forest, shall we? Close this. So, put a little variation. And we're just kind of blocking things in, pun intended. Okay, the, kind of the green of the trees, and put in some ground. This is what we see before we get to the trees. And of course, put in some nice blue sky. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. You can always come in and fill it back in. So hit Option or Alt to select the eyedropper. And then I'm going to pick kind of a, a grayish blue, kind of a shadowy color, um, maybe kind of a, yeah, I like the grayish blue. Oop. So make this be the shadow from the trees, of the forest. And put that, cover that green a little. Well, I'll do that later. And then put in some Block in some trees. Well, that's a little ugly. So just kind of block them in. These are kind of the trees that you see uh, in the front. There we go. And of course, there's some in the back as well. Kind of those other trees and just well, a little too close. And make this a little bit smaller. So. These are the trees that are further back in the forest. And then hit, use the eyedropper to fill this stuff in. And go switch to some white. Make 
clouds. And even added a little bit of light gray in there so where the light isn't hitting the clouds. And even have a little bit of a darker color that we put in for where the shade of the trees are. Try and make it as 3D looking as you can with a 2D 8-bit drawing. And heck, you can even put in some a few apples. Maybe a few on the ground. Maybe a little a few darker ones just down there. Make this darker. There we go. And there you go. An 8 bit forest. My name's Aaron Croman, and good luck with Photoshop.